Hey y'all, so I want to talk about Snowfall. I'm probably going to be covering most of the episodes from here on out. So I'm just going to start with the latest episode. We're on season four, episode three. So beware of spoilers. If you haven't watched it yet, just keep scrolling. First thing we see in this episode is Gustavo is out for blood. Understandably so, after Fuentes, that dirty cop, kills his homie and his wife. Teddy finds out and him being the intelligent man that he is knows that this is not gonna end well. He can't do this. So he tries to stop him, but Gustavo was big as hell. Didn't really work out at first, but eventually he does get to him. He stops Teddy from going on a killing spree and just taking everybody out. And in doing so, he has to tell him that he's CIA. Now that Gustavo knows and they have the government's backing to take out the people who killed their assets, they basically have a way to get away with murder. So they devise a plan. Gustavo shows up and does his part. He takes out a cop, which is the start of the setup to get them to run. They find them and honestly, it was lit to see Teddy in action. You know, he's mostly kind of like Gustavo said, uptight, but this nigga was popping out, get shot. You know, luckily they had the vest on, like he was about it. He took almost the whole crew out by himself. That was something you have not seen from Teddy so far in this show, so it was very exciting. I am curious though to see how Gustavo is going to respond now that he knows that Teddy is CIA. Is he gonna like just get crazy, you know, taking off on people, you know, his homie just died, like he might just feel like whoever wanted can get it. Or is he gonna like turn up on the drug game, you know what I'm saying, start, make, start making even more money than they're already making. Like what's gonna happen there? There's definitely a turning point here. But the next thing we see in this episode is Franklin taking a meeting with Nix to let this nigga know if you come anywhere near my family again, it's not gonna end well for you. And this is after Nix approaches Alton at his shelter trying to intimidate him because he was mad about the situation Franklin put him in, asking him to take down all those gang members. So Nix comes to Franklin like, you tried to have me killed. No, I set you up with a very good drug bust if you and your boys wasn't too pussy to carry it out. That has nothing to do with me. Now, mind you, Nix was supposed to be the one to kind of help him take some of Scully's players off the board, but he didn't carry it out. So that situation is still up in the air. We haven't seen Scully at all this episode, which kind of worries me about what's going to happen in the next episode because somebody's going to have to answer to what happened. Then we see the reporter lady, Irene. She's now started to dig deeper into Franklin's story. She now has the help of the investigator who brought Franklin in on Kevin's murder and the same investigator who brought in Louie when they suspected her of killing Claudia. So he's spilling all the tea to this woman because he's trying to take Franklin down. I'm still trying to figure out if she's doing all this digging to get Franklin or if she's just trying to get the full story about how and why these drugs are ruining her neighborhood. But one thing about it, she now sees just how deep this thing is. And I think she realizes that it could either be the biggest story of her life or it could cost her her life. Either way, she don't seem like she's gonna let up. And I think she's bound to uncover something that us as the audience does not know yet. Hmm, then we meet back up with Wanda. Po Po Wanda, Jesus. She has probably had the most abrupt character arc in this story so far. We saw her go from homegirl to crackhead all within season two. Then in season three, she becomes a traitor, giving up the recipe that Franklin taught her to man boy. Up until he tossed her ass back to the streets, quite literally, and left her only to be searching for her next hit every single day. So now in season four, she's full blown crackhead. We see her hanging out with some other junkies. They're getting high and her tooth comes out. I know she mentioned to Leon about her being in pain that the, the crack that they were serving them now that you know he wasn't getting his stuff from Franklin was no good and that she wasn't getting high like that like how she used to. So she's having this moment with the junkies, her tooth comes out and they just start laughing at her, they high. And I think here in this moment, she's finally coming to terms with 
this addiction and what it's doing to her. In this episode, we also see man boy being man boy. Did we not see this coming? Louis said it. We were all thinking it. Franklin back in man boy and his beef with Scully was going to put the battery in his back that he could take Franklin's place, which is all he's been trying to do from the jump. And in this episode, he really took it there during a meetup with Louis and Jerome for their drops. He tries to cozy up to Jerome. Like, yeah, I saw you doing your thing during all that craziness. You were shooting it out. Da -da -da -da. You the man. But what about your boy Franklin? Franklin got up out of there. He ain't shoot nobody. What's up with that? And then he takes it even further to mention how business was better when he was just doing it with Jerome and Louie. He's like, now that Franklin's back, shit is getting weird. You do know that this is his family you're talking to, right? Nothing about Louie or Jerome Reese Snake at all. Although I do believe that Jerome is trying to get out the game. Like, he's feeling like, I'm too old for this shit. I just want to run my, my, my speaker shop and chill. Louie ain't having that shit, though. You saw how she was on some, like, nah, you got it twisted. Relax, you know? Man Boy is normally pretty calculated. He seemed like he kind of missed the mark here, but I see why some of y'all fuck with him. He knows what he wants and he's playing chess, but that nigga is a shysty. He's shady, he's a liar, he has no code about him. I'm good on man boy. The most major thing to happen in this episode to me was probably Sissy taking the meeting with the guy Paul Davis. She has finally found her end game in all of this. She discovered in the last season, if you can beat him, join him. With her real estate experience and connections and Franklin's newfound, you know, money and power they have become major players in the real estate industry and are trying to build up the black community this is also a way for them to start making some legal money and to be able to set themselves up for life this meeting was sissy's chance to rub elbows with some very powerful and connected people which leads to a hard decision that she and Franklin have to make about the Mosleys and their bookstore, which the city is threatening to get rid of. The plan was to buy the Mosleys out of their store, sell to Paul Davis, who has major dealings in real estate and politics. Franklin now has someone of power and color in his pocket, who has the power to get the cops off his back, i.e. punk ass officer Nix, and the Mosleys get a brand new, bigger and better store everyone wins right wrong because the mosleys ain't going much like our grandparents who are being forced out of the neighborhoods that they've lived in their entire lives due to gentrification these folks are not trying to leave home which is why franklin has to lie to them about his intentions with their store of course this leads the mosleys to be highly upset with him it looks bad it is bad but it's for a greater good their store was unfortunately doomed regardless. This was a way for Franklin to save them and save himself. Partnering with Paul Davis seems like a good decision right now, but I'm not sure if he's to be entirely trusted. They probably made it better for them that he's a man of color and they feel like this is the right thing, but we know all skin folk and kin folk. I wouldn't be surprised if connecting with him leads to more destruction for Franklin. I want to end this segment with a shout out to the women of Snowfall. Especially Sissy in this episode, she held it down. After being terrorized by Officer Nix, she could have dipped out in that moment. She could have been like, this is my stop. But she bossed up the same way she bossed up on her old boss. Once she decided that she was in this, oh, she was in it. And she's very smart, and I see now where Franklin gets it from. Louis, always holding it down. And quite frankly, I would like to see a spinoff about Lucia. That is one boss bitch. I'm curious to know, you know, when we're going to hear from her again in this season. But I would definitely like to see a story about her life. I want to give a, a couple predictions about what's going to happen in this season. For one, I see Leon and Franklin making up. Here's why. Clearly things are not going extremely well for Leon. 
Once Franklin went down, he started to do his own thing because he didn't want to take orders from Louis. He started running the projects. We see now that the coke that he's getting because Franklin's no longer his plug, it's not as pure, it's not Southern like how Franklin's was. We saw the little nigga try to, you know, step up and make a move and they almost got set up because of that. We see people now that are out the game because they're scared of what happened with Franklin and Scully. They think that Leon's gonna be involved in that. I don't think either of them can deny that they make a great team. Leon was the perfect manpower with Franklin because Franklin is clearly not really about that life. Like he has not showed me yet that he was about that life. Like that shit with him and Andre, that was kind of personal. And I don't even think that was easy for him to do. Leon, that nigga's with the shits. And that's somebody that Franklin needs on his side. And they feed off each other well. They both just having ego and pride moments, which happens between friends. But I see them getting back right pretty soon. Also, somebody important is finna die soon. And if it's not Scully, then it's gonna be somebody close to Franklin because somebody has to answer for what happened to Scully. Even though Scully seemed like he was damn near death in the last episode that we saw him in, we don't know yet. But something is gonna happen in that situation, obviously. And it's gonna end in death. Anyway, that was my review of season four episode three of snowfall stay tuned for more i'll be covering a lot more tv probably thank y'all for tuning in see you next time